guys, welcome back to Sophie Reacts. I'm having a wonderful day today. We're going to react into Game of Thrones Season 3, Episode 2. This episode is called Dark Wings, Dark Words. So without further ado, let's dive into this reaction. He grew up so much. Wow. Look at him. He's dreaming again. Of course he's dreaming again. Are we supposed Don't think to too do much, Bran. Relax your bow arm. And which one of you was a marksman at ten? Oh my God, I'm getting goosebumps. Oh. You can't kill it, you know. Why not? Because the Raven is you. Wait, what? The Raven is what? Lord Bolton. That yeah, isn't he the one the that news. sent the men to... I hadn't seen him in years. I don't even know how many. We should talk Will about... I be wearing manacles when I lay my father to rest? Oh, her father... By the time Bolton's bastard got to Winterfell, the Ironborn were gone. They massacred everyone and put the castle to the torch. This is what... But and why did... Have not been found. Yeah, why did Brenner Rick on escape! Oh my fucking god! I'm not sure why! By the time Rickon and Bran found Maester Lewin, the Ironborn were already gone. So, I'm not sure why Maester Lewin told them to go north and to not stay here. And stay in Winterfell. So the Northmen captured Tyrion. <sighs> And they're supposed to take him to Rob? What the hell is happening? Ah! What the hell is happening? <laughs> I knew him as well as anyone. As a member of his king's guard, he trusted me with everything. He would have been a wonderful king. Sounds like you quite fancy him. I did not fancy him. I think you did. did. Yeah. <laughs> An interesting dynamic. You weren't Brendan's type, I'm afraid. You preferred <laughs> oh uh, curly haired little girls like Laura's Tyrell. <laughs> You're far too much man for it. Oh my god, Jamie. Don't blame him. And no, don't blame you either. Don't get the juice who we love. You can tell you that. Seven blessings to you. And you. Who I am. He doesn't. Maybe you're right. What if you're not? What if you tell someone? We're not doing it. It is a good match, but what do you think of her? She's I want to know. and intelligent. Yes, she is. Her concern with the well being of her. common people is interesting. Not to me. It doesn't fancy that about her, though. She married a traitor and known degenerate like Renly Baratheon for a reason. She married Renly Baratheon because she was told to. That's what intelligent women do. What they're told. Ouch. She can't tame him anymore. Men only want one thing from a pretty girl. Littlefinger is not in love with me. God forbid, no. This is something I didn't want to hear. Not in a million years. If he does ask you for anything, or try anything, or touch you, I want you to tell me. Why? What will you do? I will make him stop. <laughs> ah, one of the best friendships. Lady Sansa? Soloris? My sister Marjorie invites you to take the air with her and our grandmother, the Lady Olena, in the gardens. We probably What's happening here? the first time we met. He won't remember. It is my honor to present my grandmother. Please. The Lady Olena of House Tyrell. We're very sorry for your loss. And I was sorry when I heard of Lord Renly's death, Lady Madri. He was very gallant. Gallant, yes, and charming and very clean. He knew how to dress and smile, and somehow this gave him the notion he was fit to be king. Why is she giving me Taiwan vibes? What do you say to that, Sansa? <gasps> we have some ah! lemon cake. Lemon cake's my favorite. <laughs> so we've been told. <laughs> so we've been told. I like her already. They say he was looking up at the sky 
and paying no mind to where his horse was taking him. <laughs> now my son is doing the same, only this time he's riding a lion instead of a horse. Oh. I want you to tell me the truth about this royal boy, this Joffrey. Wait, what? Joffrey, he, his grace is very fair and handsome and as brave as a lion. Yes, all Lannisters are lions. And when a Tyrell farts, it smells like a rose. Her energy just matches Tywin's, like seriously. We're only women here. Tell us Not the truth. sure about this. No harm will come to you. My father always told the truth. Yes. We got he him had killed. That reputation, and they named him traitor and took his head. Geoffrey. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Geoffrey did that. He promised he would be merciful. Oh my god, my she's, she's letting it out. And he said that was Finally, nice. like after all this time, she's letting it out. And made me look at it. Speak freely, child. We would never betray your confidence, I swear. You better. You better. You better. Like, seriously, you better. He's a monster. Oh. That's a pity. So what? You won't let her marry him? Is it just so they know what they're dealing with? One of the boys came down with the pop. Mr. Lewin said if he made it through the night, he'd live. Which boy? Jon Snow. When my husband brought that baby home from the war, I couldn't bear to look at him. So I prayed to the gods. Take him away. Make him die. He got the pox. Oh my god. And I knew I was the worst woman who ever lived. Oh my god. <laughs> what am I fucking doing? What am I fucking doing? I condemned this poor innocent child to a horrible death all because i was jealous of his mother so i prayed to all seven gods oh my god i'm gonna cry live. let him live this happened and i'll love him i'll be a mother to him you didn't i'll beg my husband to give him a true name to make him one of us and he lived and he lived and i couldn't keep my promise And everything that's happened since then, it's all because I couldn't love a motherless child. Oh my god, look at Charles. Oh my god. <laughs> Why am I? Oh, poor John. <sighs> wow. Let's see, man. Do you know what it takes to unite 90 clans, half of whom want to massacre the other half for one insult or another? Yeah, how did you do that? And you were crow. You know how I got moon worshippers and cannibals and giants to march together in the same army? No. I told them we were all going to die if we don't get south. Because that's the truth. He just wants to survive. What's up with his ass? What's wrong with him? He's a warg. He can enter the mind of animals, see through their eyes. <gasps> he scouted for us. But you've never met a warg. Bran! Bran! He's a warg? Or, or whatever? But Bran doesn't have those eyes. Tali, I forbid you to he die. He just needs a little mo motivation. Do you hear me? Yeah. Why should the rest of us go with Russ, oh you're God. responsible for it. <laughs> Sure yes, Lord Commander. If he doesn't, you yes, don't. I love him. I love him for this. Like seriously, someone is there. Someone is definitely there. Asha, Asha. Wait, what? This is the guy from his dream. That's creepy. Not another step, boy. Unless you want to drown in your own blood. I'm unarmed. That was poor planning, <laughs> Asha. My sister carries the weapon. Oh, wait. I'm better with them. I'm Jojen Reed. This is my sister, Mira. We've come a long way to find you, Brandon. And we have much farther to go. What the hell is happening? He offered to kill any three people you wanted. Oh, Dead. yeah. All you had to do was give him the names. Anyone. You could have picked King Joffrey. Shut up. Could have picked Lannister. <laughs> Andrew's me. She looks older too. If we hit the Red Fork, we can follow it west to River Run. My mother grew up there. My grandfather's the Lord. Yeah, they go into River Run too. Oh my God! Please, 
please tell me they're going to meet. Please tell me they're going to meet. Please tell me they're going to be reunited with each other. Like, I can't. We pour his home. This is the Lannister song. What's lurking behind that wall? A lion? A wolf? Just a dirty little cub. A wolf thing. and a stag. Are they Lannister soldiers? You escaped from Harrenhal. Who are you? Thoros of Mir. And the fellow here with the bow is Angai. No, who do you fight for? The Brotherhood without banners. The Brotherhood that they were killing people for? Got nothing to fear from us, son. The Lords of Westeros want to burn the countryside. We're trying to save it. You were saying Lannister's song. Here's the thing, fat boy. When I'm done talking, that arrow's falling down on your fat head. So I advise you move, because I'm done talking. <laughs> Arya just keeps meeting badass people, like seriously. Half the country's starving, and look at this one. <laughs> Maybe it's the reason half the country's starving. Father does not make idle threats. Having you killed would be the high point of his week. You have to be absolutely certain. You're playing with fire, Tyrion. Like seriously. I don't want to see Shay's head on a spike. What did she say about Littlefinger? Well, I was just concerned about Sansa. That Sansa shouldn't trust him. Is there an idiot in any village who trusts Littlefinger? Apparently, Sansa. We have to protect her. We can't. Now that the Lannisters have discarded her, Sansa will have many suitors. A great beauty with a very old name. Great beauty? Oh, a great beauty? <laughs> She's concerned and jealous at the same time, like... <sighs> Lady Tyrell, my king. Send her in. No, he's holding a crossbow. How are you finding life in the capital? He's pointing the crossbow at her. Camp. This is a giving me anxiety. A military encampment is no place for a lady. And the bedside of a traitor? Oh no. Is that a place for a lady? I told you! What was your duty to this traitor as you saw it? The duty of any wife to any husband, to provide him with children. You failed to do this. Why? I don't believe he was interested in the company of women. Maybe the fault was with me, maybe... No. He was a known... degenerate. It's such a relief to hear you say so, Your Grace. Mm. It's beautiful. The you way she turns to her to her favor. Show? It's a new design. Show her how it load. works. I imagine it must be so exciting to squeeze your finger here and watch something die over there. <gasps> She's good! Could you do it? Could you kill something? I don't know, Your Grace. Do you think I could? Yes. Would you like to watch me? She, she bested Cersei. Not even Cersei. Not even Cersei could manipulate Joffrey like this. Ah! Why did you do that? I told you. Why did you. you take Winterfell? I took it to bring glory to my house of my father. Wait, 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 I, I, I took it because I hated the Starks. I hated them for holding me prisoner. I wanted to hurt them. Oh, my God. Please, please, please just take me to heart. Your sister sent me. Yara. I'll come for you tonight when the castle sleeps. Oh, no, don't go. Please, please, no, please don't leave me. Is this Winterfell? Is he in Winterfell? 
Man. I'm really confused about Theon and his storyline, like seriously. You can get inside his head, see through his eyes. Only when I'm asleep. Once how it begins until you learn to control it. Is he one to? Yeah, he's a wolf. Sometimes in my dreams, is it? Three-eyed raven. Yeah! I've seen it. We saw him together. You haven't forgotten. The raven brings the sight. Seeing things that haven't happened yet. Or things that happened long before you were born, or things that are happening right now, thousands of miles away. But what? When my father died, I dreamt it. Yeah, he dreamt it. You, you didn't dream it, you saw it. And so did I. You have the sight too. When I told my father about your father, the first time in my life I saw him cry. And your father is Hal and Reed. Yeah. Saved my father's life during the rebellion. Oh, I like this. Brad is not alone now. But before you go, allow me to raise your cup. To your spot. <laughs> Ah. No! At all. A hound! A pretty prize, lads. Yeah. Girl. The hound? No. 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 What are you doing with the Stark bitch? Why? Is he kidding me? Why? He didn't have to do that. The hound. Of march around like a common foot soldier wearing the same shit boots for over a year. This this heel screw in this. Oh no. <laughs> We're gonna see a fight between Jamie and Brienne. But he's not in his best, you know, shape, so maybe she'll win. He's testing her. What? A great beast of a woman. Come on. Oh my god, it's happening. You shouldn't grimace before you lunch. Gives away the game. Oh my god! You good? Yeah, she's Crazy. good. But good. <laughs> this is interesting. He's not in his best, best shape. He knows that. <laughs> he underestimated Brienne big time. Blade man of House Bolton. It's gruesome for my taste. Yeah, no one. That's him, all right. He told her. If the king in the north hears I had the king slayer and let him go, he'd be taking it right off. I'd rather he takes yours. I'm not sure if I'm happy about this or not. I mean, it's good for Rob. I should feel happy. Now Rob is gonna get his lavish back. But man, this is because of Jamie. What was he thinking? Wasting time engaging Brienne. She's already taken him to King's Landing. So why did Jamie decide to fight her and try to kill her? Is it because he doesn't want to live up to his word and honor the pact that he and Catelyn made? You know, about returning her daughters? Because if that's the case and that he never intended to keep his promise, then I have problems with him. But man, he wasn't a full strength and he underestimated Brienne big time and he lost. Was still funny. <laughs> the scene between Catelyn and Talisa, oh my God, it had me in tears. One of the best moments in Game of Thrones. It really made me feel sad seeing her, how much she regrets taking out her anger on John and treating him like dirt. You could even hear her voice break a little bit and the deep remorse in it. Like seriously, I loved hearing the regret in her voice. The fact that she wished him dead and that she never really accepted John as one of her children. Despite the fact that none of the circumstances were his fault. Also, the fact that she feels responsible for all that happened because she couldn't love a boy with nobody else there to love him. Oh. And I feel like the purpose 
of telling Talisa the story of John because in some way Kathleen sees them in the same standing two innocent people through no fault of their own caused this honor in her house and family she hates them yet she has to accept the fact that they did nothing wrong and the actual fault lies with her family members just saying. I was so impressed with Marjorie this episode, man. She's good. Like, I loved how she played the game this episode. She did her homework about Joffrey and drew out the best game plan on how to be on his good side. And I think this is her grandmother teachings. But just saying. I think her grandmother her grandmother is the one teaching her how to deal with Joffrey now now that they know what they're dealing with and as i told you she gives me Taiwan vibes like her energy just matches the one given by Taiwan like big time she bested Cersei even Cersei can't control Joffrey like that so something's happening with Theon obviously I think the ones that are holding him captives are the Northmen that I can't remember his name, but the one who serves Rob. So, so Theon is being held captive by the Northmen. But if I remember correctly, Rob specified that Theon will be, you know, will be brought to him immediately. So I'm not sure with the whole, you know torturing and stuff um we met the brotherhood in season two the lannister soldiers were torturing people left and right to know you know the whereabouts of this brotherhood but then we had them singing i think it was the lannister song so i'm not sure they captured the hound thank god sansa didn't go with him oh my god I'm not sure how them knowing about Arya and that she's Stark is gonna change things because he promised them that it was them free and now that they know that she's Stark, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I'm not sure where they stand, you know, and who they serve. Bran met new friends. We learned what he is now, he is rug rug or something but he is able to get into the animal's mind and the reason why he just dreams it is because he's not you know he's not fully trained and he doesn't know how to control his powers but he also but he also has the powers of sight his new friend said something about you know it's not just about knowing what's going to happen in the future but also what happened in the past so Interesting. Cool, we're getting some answers, finally. Anyway, I think that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed my reaction. See you in the next video.